Good morning. Good morning, Rebecca. Yeah, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> ah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a, a really fun card. It's really easy, too. Good morning. Good morning, Rebecca. Yeah, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> ah, this is going to be fun. I hope a few more people will join, but it is, I think it's 11 o'clock now, so we probably will get started. Um, I just wanted to, if you are here and are watching, please leave me a comment so I know you're here, and then I will choose one person who comments and shares that I will send this card to, so um, be sure and let me know you're here. Um, just a real quick, in case anyone else is here, um, and I will repeat this at the end, but today is July 19th and Stampin' Up! is having a flash sale, uh, that is, um, all stamps in the annual catalog are 15% off. So if you have a wish list, it might be good to look at it and see if there's anything you really need and, get that, take advantage of that 15% off. Plus, if you spend $50, you get a $5 bonus coupon to spend in August. So, uh, double dipping, and I love that. <laughs> so, so I think we'll get started. Um, if you're here, let me know. Just leave a comment. So, this is the card we're going to be making today, and it's kind of a gatefold card, but a little bit funky. Oh, shoot I don't I don't think it's mine because mine is coming through good I did a test so um sorry <laughs> so here's the card that we're going to do and uh, I think it's just really pretty and I love this paper this paper is from the delightfully eclectic um, paper in the annual catalog and it's um, uh, this is one of the patterns. It's a set that you buy. It's $30, which sounds kind of steep, but there's 48 sheets for each of 12 different styles. So it's a good deal. So to start out with, I'll show you the measurements and I will put them down below so you don't have to write them down. So the card base is five and a half by four and a quarter, and this is garden green. So five and a half by four and a quarter. And then the main part of the is, is this, and this is 12 inches by five and a half inches. And uh, it's going to be scored. I'm gonna show you how to score it and then we'll go from there. And then I do have two other pieces. Um, this is for the basic white. This is the largest square from the Stylish Shapes dies. And then this is garden green and this is three inches by three inches. So we'll get started. So this is again, 12 by five and a half and I'm going to put it in my, um, in my paper trimmer and I'm gonna score it at two inches and four inches. And then I could lengthen this out and do it at eight and 10, but I'm just gonna turn it around, that's easier. And I'm gonna do another two inches and four inches. And then I'm going to measure from, oh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold that so we can see where that score line is. And I'm going to measure down two inches on this side. And I'm going to make a little tick mark. And I swear I had a pencil here a minute ago, but I don't see it now. Um, so it's gonna be, and I have to take my glasses off to see this. So I'm going to measure down two inches. And I'm gonna make just a tiny little tick mark there. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Measure down two inches and make just a little tiny tick mark there. So now we're gonna take, again, take our paper trimmer and we're going to cut from the two inch mark 
to the score line. So the two inch mark to the score line. And uh, I wanna make sure it's even. And I'm gonna cut off that little tiny triangle. And then I'm gonna turn it over to this side and do the same thing. And there's my tick mark right there. And then there is my score line right there. Again, I'm gonna cut that off. So now I'm going to fold it. So I'm gonna fold this one this way and this one this way. And then on this side, I'm gonna do the same, this one and then this one, and then they meet in the middle. So now we'll use the bone folder and make my Make sure that's good. Now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to add these right here. So it gives you an optical illusion like it's cut on both sides, but it isn't actually. And like that. So I'm gonna add some, I'm just gonna use my, my adhesive and I'm just going to add that right there. And again, add a little bit of adhesive and put that one right down here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> anyway, so now, just a matter of putting it all together. So this is the basic white, and I'm going to stamp the, I'm going to use Irresistible Blooms, and I'm going to use that thank you note, and I'm going to stamp it in Garden Green. And I'm going to put it kind of close to the top because I'm going to add some flowers. Uh-oh, I got a boo-boo. So let's just turn that over. Nobody will know the difference. Okay, I tell people don't rock it. And I did. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Amy. Thank you for joining. So I'm going to add this. I did a boo-boo. So, you know, I'm I'm very human, <laughs> unfortunately. And I do boo-boos. Um, and put this right here. Now I'm going to... I cut out from the irresistible, hello irresistible paper. I cut out these um, leaves and this flower and that is going to go here. But first I'm gonna put the leaves. So I'm gonna add some leaves just kind of line along the side here. And then let's see where this one, this one will go right there. One will go there, and then I'm going to put some dimensionals on this piece and pop it up a bit. Take the backings off. And then this will go right here. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, mount this here. And so I don't want to, obviously, I want to be able to open it. So I'm gonna put one dimensional on this corner and I have to turn it around and make sure I get the right corner. And then I'm gonna put two on this side, kind of close to the edge. And then we're going to put this down so now it will stay together and just kind of line it up and center it there and now we're going to mount this on the back of uh, uh, mount this on our backing um, card base which is again garden green five it's a quarter of a sheet five and a quarter by four and a quarter five and a half by four and a quarter And this will be right here. And 
And there. Here. Now we can open it up. And, oh, I forgot the piece for the inside. I'll put that in later. Uh, this does have a piece inside. And I, I just forgot to cut that. Sorry. <laughs> I will put the measurements again down below. And then I'm going to use some of these tinsel gems, the four-pack tinsel gems. And I'm going to add some of those. I don't know if you knew this, but they always say to do it in uneven numbers, which is really interesting, I thought. I'll put it up here this time. Um, so three, two, uh, one, three, five, seven, if you want that many. Um, I don't want to overwhelm it, but I th think it does need it. So there we go. And I'll finish that off and, and I will send it to whoever is will share and I will choose one. Is it still going in and out, Rebecca? So, and you know me, I have to make a few more. So I used the Fresh as a Daisy, and I used the Boho Blue and as the, as the backing, and the Fresh as a Daisy. Isn't that pretty? And then I made this one, and this says Happy Retirement, and this is from the Go Fishing Set, and... I made that one. I just think this is really cool. And I think you probably know who this is going to be for. I'm going to save this out for somebody special. <laughs> so there's my card for today. Um, again, if you are, uh, if there are some of the, it must be your Wi-Fi. Yeah. Thank you, Yvonne. Um, <clears throat> I, I, just so you know, there is a sale today. It's a flash sale that Stampin' Up! is doing and it's 15% off of every stamp set in the annual catalog. Not the host sets because you have to earn to get those, but every other stamp set in the catalog is 15%. So if you have a wish list of stamp sets that you're interested in, this is a good time to get them. Plus, if you spend $50, you get a $5 bonus coupon for every $50 you spend. So you get the coupon this month and then you get to spend it in August. So yeah, I love that. I agree, Rebecca. This is my favorite one of, of this set. I just think it's just gorgeous. So so please um, share if you would and let me know that you did share and you can even do it on the replay. And uh, I will choose one person to receive this card in the mail. So that's it for today. You know, I like to keep it short and sweet and yet have something that is challenges you. Oh, I, I needed to show you. So I changed the changed the stripes. So which one do you like better? Um, it's going sideways this way and up and down this way. I just did it just to see what it would look like. I think that's kind of cool. I like them both, but I really think I like this one better. So it depends on if your paper is going one way, you need, you need to remember that when you cut it. So I do, I do too, Rebecca. I really like that. Okay, thank you for sharing, everyone. And you have a wonderful day. And remember, for local people, I'm having my sale tomorrow, uh, Friday, Friday and Saturday from 8 to 5 on Friday and 8 to noon on Saturday. And it's my retired stuff. So I do too. <laughs> I do too, Yvonne. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for joining me and have a wonderful day.